All right, welcome to the podcast. On today's show, we're talking to Jasmine from Holy Water. For people who don't know, what does your product do? Well, we are a new functional beverage that's the only beverage that's ever put ketones, functional mushrooms, adaptogens, and nootropics. In a drink. In a drink. So we call okay. ourselves a health tonic. All right. So you're entering the CBG world, which, man, can be a difficult time, but I think it's a better time than it used to be. So I was part of a good amount of emergency board meetings, I think, two years ago now in the CPG space. Maybe hope is restored. Why the name Holy Water? So we call this the holy grail of holistic health. Okay. And the biggest thing, I think people have seen functional beverages. I think they've seen nootropics and drinks. So I think that side of the market is somewhat educated. Yeah. Tons of functional mushrooms out there. Nootropics, adaptogens are really booming right now, but we're the only people that's ever put ketones on Give top people, of it all. explain it. Give people a world into what ketones are. It, we have an episode way back, Jeffrey Wu, we interviewed from, from like, uh, Ketone IQ. Ketone IQ. Those and so, guys are great. They're so great. you know what? They are really, truly the leaders in yeah. this really innovative ingredient. Michael is amazing, um, the other founder. So we actually have the exact same ingredient and the exact same amount in our beverage as their shot. Okay. Give people a window into what ketones are. So, so keto- average listener doesn't know what is it. So Why it's called a it? ketone ester. And essentially what it does is it puts your body into ketosis without having to fast. And so anyone in the health and wellness space, they know the benefits of fasting. It burns fat for fuel. It enhances cognitive abilities. For me personally, it really speeds up my metabolism, suppresses my appetite. It's it's fuel for your brain and your body. It's truly incredible. I didn't know what it was either before. <laughs> partnered with sure. <laughs> with my I didn't know before partners. I talked to Jeffrey I was like why do people why should they care you know yeah price points a real thing though when, when it comes to ketones why is it is it hard to extract so what is it that co- makes it co- cost so high we I mean getting the facility getting the regulations we buy it from the same factory called Avala so unfortunately we are Uh, handcuffed to what their prices are. But one thing that we are looking to do, my business partner is a PhD biochemist. So we are talking to factories right now where we can start making it ourselves and going through that process. And of all the things you're doing, so before you were in Vancouver, Mm -hmm. you're doing some sports bars, you're in the hospitality (laughs) space, clubs. Why jump into CPG? What do you like about the product, the team, So honestly, I never in a million years did I think that I was going to be In this industry, I owned bars and restaurants for seven years and just really hit a wall. You're you're just getting into it, so I'm not going to scare you too much. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) But it it was it was a lot. You know, it's uh, it's nonstop. Um, I'm so grateful. I learned so much in that industry, but you can see things shifting. People aren't drinking like they used to. People are caring about their health and their wellness. You know, when I owned my bars and restaurants, I was drinking every day. I was addicted to Adderall. I was working long shifts, early mornings, back and forth, and I just, I burnt out. And I sold everything, I took some time off, and that's when I was introduced to my now business partner, who is a PhD biochemist. His background is in cancer, and he has now dedicated his life to natural medicine. And so I met him a couple years ago through our mutual friends who played hockey. And he helps war vets, he helps athletes with concussions, PTSD, suicide, all the, all the dark stuff. And just through meeting him and him opening my eyes with health and wellness, it completely changed my life. And we became really good friends. And I've seen him save countless lives and help so many people. And when he came to me with this product, I didn't know what any of these ingredients were, mm-hmm. sure. <laughs> truly. Like I had yeah. never heard of a ketone. Okay. I knew what ketosis was, but I didn't know that there was an ingredient that can put you into ketosis. And so through my journey of just self-work and um, working with natural medicine and health and wellness, I started drinking this every day. And I was like, holy shit holy shit, this is insane. Like I, I'm 35 years old. I've never been in better shape. I've never felt better. I do not touch prescription medication anymore. I was like, you are really, really onto something. And he's like, 
Well, I live in the middle of nowhere on a ranch in Colorado, and our CEO lives in Chicago and just had a baby. We need someone to be the face of this company. We need someone to move to LA. If you're going to make it in health and wellness, you need to be in Los Angeles. And I sold everything I own in Canada, and I got my three-year visa, and I moved here three months ago, and I am hitting the ground running on this thing. Wow. That's a good story. So it's more like your wellness story in some way, too. It's yeah, your truly. Story. Like, I believe in it so much because of what it's done for me, and I truly believe that everyone needs these tools. And when I say it's, I, I could talk about this forever, but <laughs> just all the stuff that's in our food, all the stuff that is smoke and mirrors that that is manipulation of what is health, right? And so this truly is our values are health, our values are longevity, our values are making you feel better. You know, there's a lot of products out there who say they have nootropics, adaptogens, they do, but it's such a minuscule amount, sure. and then there's seven grams of sugar in it. And you're like, well, that defeats the purpose, right? Yeah. It's, it seems like that's the next frontier in this game. It's like the efficacy and people actually caring about how much is in it. Mm -hmm. I mean, AG1, they're getting a little bit of heat right mm -hmm. now for the same thing. It's like, yeah, they say these things are in it, but you never know the exact amounts. And yeah. so that's sort of the issue with that. Yeah, and going back to you saying that our ingredients, our ingredients are the most expensive ingredients out there. Our margins are not like majority of the products out there, but we want to make this accessible to everyone and stay true to our values of like what you're putting in your body is good. Like this is not, this is, there's no bullshit here. How long did it take you guys to land on this taste? So my CEO has been in the beverage game for over 20 years. He sold his last company to Vito Coco. So he was connected by my same hockey friends to our doctor. They've been working on it for, a, they worked on it for about a year before they approached me. Um, so my doctor, he knows all the ingredients, but he had this concept. He didn't know how to make a beverage. So they were connected and then they approached me. They found me. And so what was the first step in you joining? Like at what point was, so it's already funded. It sounds like there's funding in place. Oh or, no. There, no. No, no. All right. So you're in the process. Where are you? <laughs> we're in? always raising money. Yeah. That's CPG. <laughs> that's CPG that's world. The game. It comes Credit in, cards it goes maxed right down, back Raising out. money. Yeah. Yeah. So they obviously had funding, um, friends and family before I came on. And then I helped them raise the rest of the half of the first round. So we just closed our first round. Okay. And now we Congrats. are. Thank you. How much did you raise? We raised just under a million. Okay. And like a seed, mm -hmm. seed round funding under yeah. a million. Okay. A 7.5 valuation. Smart. Nice and low. Nice and low. Yeah. I, ironically, people told me that that was high. So I'm glad that you said that. that. <laughs> Trust me, the things I'm seeing for like 12 to 15, I'm like, you guys are out of your mind. Which I mean, like, look, you can do it, but it's like at a 12, 15 million dollar valuation on a seed today. You're putting yourself in a really difficult spot to raise your A round. Yeah. And uh, I don't think there's any need. It's hard enough, right? So I don't think there's any need to have extra pressure on hitting revenue numbers that you've now forced yourself to yeah. hit. Yeah, you're gonna have a down round, which is not a good idea later. But anyway, okay, cool. So you raise this money and what's on track for 2024? And so you're hitting the ground running, you're so trying to get into stores. Hitting the ground running, our RTD, this can literally just arrived in LA three weeks ago. Okay. Um, so beautiful can. Thank you so much. I like it. I tried this at the Rosalind Supper Club. Yeah. Really fun. Yeah. What did you think? I loved it. I'm easy. I'm big into this stuff. Yeah. And so to me, it's like I'm already in. And the fact that you guys had ketones, I thought was a, like for someone who's already in the space of functional drinks, fun functional beverage, Yeah. Uh, the ketone thing adds a whole nother level. And totally. so to me, it was like what you're doing was sort of the next obvious step. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad you're doing it. And that's why I asked you your price point, right? Because yeah. I was like, but I know the ketones are, are can be expensive. Yeah. But your, what's your price point? So, well, it depends where they're being sold. I have some places selling it for three fifty, and then out in Malibu, they're selling it for six, six bucks. Okay. So it's really uh, dependent on the area. Obviously, as we grow, like I said, we want to start developing and ma making our own ketones. So that will obviously cut our costs down. Um, okay. We're doing everything that we can to. And what win. strategy are you going with now? Is it D2C? Is it e-commerce? Is it uh, so D2C in store? is mass. D2C is massive. Okay. Obviously, the margins are way better on D2C. Hundred percent. Um, it's a whole new world that I'm learning about. Like TikTok shop. Oh my god! Like that. Yeah, it is on. like we're on it, but it, like okay. that thing is the wild wild west <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> so tiktok shop amazon um obviously shopify and then retail so with my ceo's background and his connections um we're getting picked up quickly which is nice to see but 
you can get into Bristol Farms, but if people don't know what your product is, right, like, right, it has to move. Velocities matter, right? And you get one, you get one shot. So that's like what I, my role here in LA is just getting as it in his hands as many people as I can. Building the brand, building the brand, like spreading that education. And going back to Keto and IQ, I really piggyback off them because their marketing dollars, I mean, they're, they have every major athlete right now, but it benefits us because it's spreading that awareness of what ketones are. And ours is a completely different approach to how you. So how do you do it? Uh, When you think about your marketing budget, what are you focused on? Me being as many places <laughs> as I can because we have zero marketing dollars. Yeah. Um, I'm really grateful. I have such an amazing community in LA that really support me and believe in this product. I've been doing events with Equinox every week. Mm-hmm. I've seen that on your gram. Yeah. Yeah. Every morning. Right. Like you something. know, you have you meet friends who are in the community and they have their yoga classes. They do the beach classes. They. I was at a beautiful sound bath last night and I just bring product with me. Everywhere I go, you should see my car. Like I literally live out of my car. I never leave my house with uh, cases and it's always in my purse and it's just getting it in everyone's hands and explaining what it is because that is our biggest challenge. What's the biggest thing that you've noticed? And so obviously we met, I knew a little bit about it, but what is the average person that you're speaking to? What's like their first question? Is it, is it nootropics? Is it like, what's the ketones. thing? The ketones. Okay. Ketones, so, so similar. They want to, okay. They want to know really, what ketones are. I get are. really excited when people know what ketones are because okay. when they're like, this has ketones in it. Yeah. Those I was are- skeptical. I was like, no, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I asked you, I think my first question was price point. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. All right. So yeah. ketones so is ketones, the question. So ketones, ketones. Cause okay. a lot, like you see, you go into air one and it's just like a whole row, a whole shelf of functional mushrooms, nootropics. Yeah. Um, there's lots of CBD out there. So ketones is really what I hammer in. I hammer ketones and that education. And I mean, you just play to your audience, right? Like I pride myself on taking care of myself, working out. And when I tell women that I'm 35 years old and I, sh- this is maybe. <laughs> I love this. I, like, I love where you're going with it. Keep going like, with it. No, Keep but I'm going like, with it. I show them before and after of like my body and my abs. And I'm like, I didn't change anything in my routine. And just you're drinking? Just drinking this because it truly, it, it, it burns fat. It speeds up my metabolism. Make your it, six pack is going to so- show up too. I think that's what she's saying. I mean, everyone's going to want to know how much of this do they have to drink for Nick to get a six pack? That's <laughs> So it's just like, I'm the poster child of it, right? Because like, as you I should be, you eat it, your own right? dog food. That's, I mean, right. that's a real like, thing. I could never, ever promote something that I didn't 100% believe in. Yeah. And I've seen what it has done for me. And like the best motivation that I get every single day is when I get text messages from people being like, holy shit, I understand now. I understand what you guys are trying to do. I understand what these ketones are. I feel it. I see it. And it's hard because... I can't just go to a store and give them one sip of this for anyone to ever understand what this is. So that is the challenge. So from a marketing perspective, are you just, I don't even know, like the content you're creating, is it around education? It's education. It is like founder's content, telling our story, explaining what ketones are, explaining ingredients, explaining functional mushrooms, the benefits for your brain, explaining that milk thistle is good for your liver and L-theanine is a nootropic that is just like constant education and making people aware of what is out there and truly what they're putting in their bodies. Because I, like I said, I had no clue, no clue. You think that all these energy drinks are good for you. There's a better energy drink for you. No, like it's so, so bad for you. And people are waking up, right? And the thing is, uh, I shouldn't say too much, but. (laughs) Say it, (laughs) what shouldn't you say? It's just about the whole health and, you know, what people like coming from someone I was addicted to Adderall, right? Mm-hmm. I think most people are, by the way, yeah. it's, I mean, it, which is a normal thing. Once you start mm-hmm. Adderall, it's almost impossible mm-hmm. for you to get off. Mm-hmm. And I think if most women, let's say, probably have that conversation when they're having children, or, yep. right? Because then it like forces mm-hmm. them to get off or there's a discussion there. Yeah. But even that, that's a difficult thing to do. The Adderall, the antidepressants. Yeah. The craze with Ozempic. You know, right. People literally think Ozempic's good for them. Or it's not bad for them. Or they're not bad for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. So, that's you true. know, and like, listen, I was guilty of it. I 100% looked myself in the mirror and I, I was that person. I thank God I met my doctor because it completely changed my life. I'm working 12, 15 hours a day drinking these and I have the fuel to get me through that. Right. And so I know, I know it works. I've been in, like I said, with my bars and restaurants and the drinking and all the alcohol and all of this, like there is tools <laughs> just really, really pumping out the industry for you. But there are alternatives, truly. Like ketones, it's funny. I swore, We did an event the other day with Equinox and my friend was there and he was drinking this and he was so funny. And I'm like, I think you're drunk off ketones right now. And he's like, I'm so, I feel so good. I'm having so much fun. Like it is, it's an incredible tool that you can utilize in so many different ways. And listen, I'm not saying like completely cut out drinking, but it's amazing to have these alternatives that you can incorporate into your routine or incorporate at night to, to, to cut back on alcohol. So how do you, how do you view this from a marketing? So, so we just had Hayo on the podcast. Yeah. They're so, so great too. That's an amazing brand. But what I asked them is like, if you think about what they're doing, at least to me, they could have chose to go the non-alcoholic route or the functional beverage route. Mm -hmm. And they kind of didn't choose either, Yeah. but in some way they're really a non-alcoholic drink or that's how they're positioning it. Like they're not really upfront about the benefits. Yeah. And so when you think about your product, how do you, what space do you want to live in? So in retail, we are a functional beverage. So we are calling ourselves a health tonic and it is, I know it might sound crazy, but it is a whole new category that yeah. is opening up. Sure. Because um, of the ketones. Because of the ketones. Yeah. No one has done this before. I agree with you. But then on premise, you know, I've been talking to people like Live Nation, Insomniac, Tau Group, Palm Tree Crew, right? You have these big festivals. Yes. What better drink for a festival when it's an alcohol replacement? It hydrates you. It elevates anything else that you're on. If you're not drinking, it, <laughs> you know, like it's an incredible replacement for alcohol, for the energy drinks out there and just even just water, right? Like it's a, it's a whole new category that's super exciting, but also extremely challenging because people have no idea what it is. That's true. And what's this other product you have? So you didn't have okay. this when we met. And so this is a, is it, a, it's a small product. What is it? So this is our other holy water product. This has ketones, okay. functional mushrooms okay. and Delta nine. Are you familiar with Delta 9? No, hit me with it. So Delta 9 is 0.3% THC. Okay. It's fully legal across America. There, I think there might be one state that it's iffy, but things are always changing. So we created this. It's very euphoric. Everyone's tolerance is different. This is meant to be sipped. I. <laughs> you sip this. You sip it. Okay. Yeah. So this little bottle. Two ounces. Okay. This little bottle has six servings. So this is meant to be sipped because everyone's tolerance with the Delta 9 is different. I take two sips and I go hiking, I go to meditation, I go to yoga, go and podcasts. I just like go on a podcast and I didn't take any this morning. Normally I do. Um, I'm just on the ketones today. Okay. And so we sell those in 7-Eleven, smoke shops, C stores. Okay. And how much do you sell those for? So these are between seven ninety nine and eight ninety nine, okay. but like I said, six servings There's per six bottle. Servings, yeah. Our taglines: Know your limit, sip within it, because every know your limit, sip, sip within, within it. it. Yeah. So it's a really beautiful, euphoric feeling. It hits everyone different. It's all about set and setting. It's a great alcohol replacement as well. If you're at a concert, um, it's great to keep in your purse. Like I said, I love it in nature. It just really makes everything so beautiful. Jesus. <laughs> I haven't wanted to do a hike in a while, but maybe now I will. <laughs> Where can people buy it? Let's start with that. Okay, Where so obviously online, we online. love to push online. Absolutely. Enjoyholywater.com. It's way cheaper on there. Subscriptions, all the stuff. All of, all of that. Like we're yep. really hitting the D to C as hard as possible. But we are getting picked up in the big health food chains. We haven't launched in Bristol Farms or Lazy Acres yet. We've been accepted. We're waiting on places like Erewhon, Whole Foods. I didn't realize that like once you got accepted to places, it still like takes a while to get oh, on yeah. the shelves. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
but Earth Bar just picked us up. If you're in West Hollywood, I love Jeff from uh, Pink Dot Express, where the Equinox is. He's been pumping it for me. It's been really great. And then a ton of really good local community markets. But really, my goal is to get this everywhere. Yeah. Like every, everywhere. This and year. This year. ASAP. ASAP. In, okay. uh, in LA. We're hitting LA hard. And how many, if people are wondering and they want to buy one, do they drink, like for Nick to get a six pack, does he have to drink <laughs> six a day? Like how many does he have to drink a day? <laughs> so I drink at least three a day. At least at three? At least three, yeah. Okay. And at most? Well, legally, I'm not allowed to say that you should drink more than three. Than three. Than okay. three. That's, so what, three our, that's what our day. factor who makes the ketone said. They're Got like, it. legally, you we can't. Uh, what happens if you have too many ketones i mean i feel great i drink more than three a day but i can't (laughs) promote that but is there a downside um so they say after 25 grams of ketones that's when your body gets to full 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 ketosis so you don't need any more nor should you push that and it affects everyone differently like sometimes like my friend he drank because he's sober so he was pounding them back and he's like yeah i got a little like a little too head rushy. I'm like, well, yeah, you've been pounding those back all night. So I'd say, like I said, three daily, but know your limit, play within it, I guess. <laughs> I've never heard anybody say that before, which is kind of surprising to me. Not even any alcohol brands. You, you know what's so funny? I actually got that tagline. It's from Canada. It's from a casino that I like grew up listening to mm. on the radio. And it was like, know your limit, play within it. <laughs> That's a, good, that's a good statement. What's been the hard part for you, all of this, this new journey? So you're, you've left Vancouver, you have a new home, you're putting roots here to some extent, you're going to go to New York soon. Yeah, you know what? What's the tough part? I've done a lot of work on myself this past year, a lot. Um, I truly trust the universe and I believe in this so much. I don't get stressed that easily because of all the work that I did. And in my, it's funny because in my last career, I didn't know what it was like to wake up without anxiety. I thought that that was normal. (laughs) I thought that that was a normal thing as a business owner to wake up with stress. So you've done therapy, it sounds like. I've done, yeah. I've done everything. I've took a deep dive in natural medicine, spiritual world, yoga, meditation, working out, food, health, what you put in your body, holy shit, does that make a difference? Sleep, sleep, like the, and it's funny because I say these things and looking back, I'm like, it's so obvious, it's so obvious, but yet we make choices that could easily be, easily be switched, but we don't, yeah. right? Yeah. Like you just get stuck on a thing. You're like, oh, it's normal to drink multiple uh, energy drinks a day and have anxiety, <laughs> and my heart's pounding out of my chest. I mean, literally. I mean, think of most people. They'll the first thing they do when they wake up is have their Adderall. Mm-hmm. That's like most people. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah, and it's it's sad because I was that, and I didn't know the, sure. what it was like to be able to feel the way I do now, yeah. and yeah, of course this business is stressful. Like every single day, you're rejected. Yeah. Every single day. Nope, nope, nope. This is weird. This has a weird aftertaste. I don't understand. I don't get it. Not on Raya, like, though. <laughs> you go on Raya. Yeah. I was... And you meet potential investors. <laughs> I mean, what a story. Who's hacking dating apps besides you? That's I an know. incredible You know, thing. You get, it's tough on the streets. You got to really like, <laughs> put, it, put it everywhere, right? Um, you just got to live it. Like, you know. What photo on your profile is the drink? It's just. Well, in my bio, it says co founder, holy water. Yeah. And then I have like <laughs> probably five pictures of me, but like cute pictures working out. Whole, yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy water, holy somewhere water in there. on the golf course. Holy water, like there's always yeah, product placement smart. everywhere. <laughs> well, look, where can people follow you? Where, they, where can they follow the brand support? So it's enjoy holy water, everything, everywhere. Which I'm shocked we were able to get. That's a pretty good one. It was meant to be. So enjoy holy water everywhere, and then my personal one is just my name, Jasmine Mini. Thanks for coming on the pod. Thank you for having me. Of course. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, share with your friends, your family, or anyone you might think might benefit from the conversation we've had today. And if you haven't already, please take a moment to leave a review on your favorite podcast platform. We'd greatly appreciate it. Your feedback helps us improve and reach more people who can benefit from our discussions. The best way to stay connected with us and get the latest updates on future episodes is through our social media channels. You can find us at Startup Storefront. 
We'll be back next Tuesday with another great episode. See you then.